Choosing between copper clad steel conductors and pure copper conductors for lightning protection can be confusing. Both of them serve very similar purposes. But selecting the wrong one can make a big difference to the costing and the technical requirements of your project. Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we're going to talk about the difference between pure copper and copper clad steel conductors. By the end of this video, you will clearly understand the application of these products and which one is right for your project. But why should you listen to me? At Axis, we have been manufacturing earthing and lightning protection systems, including copper and copper clad steel conductors for more than 30 years. You will find our products installed in solar farms, data centers, commercial and residential projects in more than 100 countries around the world. Let's start with the basics. What is an electrical conductor? It's a very simple component that allows electricity to flow through it. Its primary purpose in lightning protection is to safely transport harmful lightning currents to the ground without causing excessive temperature spikes. These conductors are categorized by the metals they are made from. In the market, you will find many types of conductors depending on your requirements, such as copper clad steel, pure copper, high strength alloys, stainless steel, tinned, silver or nickel coated copper conductors as well. In this video, we will focus on understanding copper clad steel and pure copper conductors. Let's start with copper clad, also called copper bonded steel conductors. <laughs> this conductor has a steel core which is surrounded by a layer of copper. The steel core gives the conductor strength but also weight and the copper layer provides electrical conductivity. Pure copper conductors, on the other hand, are made from pure copper with a purity of 99.95%. So where are these different conductors used? Both pure copper and copper clad steel conductors are mainly used for electrical grounding and lightning protection. They connect earthing rods to the lightning arresters, the metal structures, plates and grids in places like substations, commercial buildings and other structures. Finally. Let's decide which conductor suits you best. Your choice should match your needs. For earthing and lighting protection, copper clad steel is the most cost effective option. To illustrate the cost difference, if one meter of copper bonded steel conductor costs you X dollars, the same length of pure copper will cost you about three to four times more. Also, pure copper rods are prone to theft. The scrap value of copper bonded steel is negligible compared to the scrap value of copper. That means that thieves will not be prone to steal your copper bonded steel conductors when compared to the likelihood of theft of copper. Both conductors, however, do an excellent job of protecting your building from lightning strikes. They both safely channel the lightning strike to the ground without causing dangerous temperature spikes that could damage your structure. I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of both types of conductors, their uses and which one you should pick. At Axis, we have a team of 50 plus engineers who are here to help you in designing and installing your next lightning protection and grounding system. Our products have been used in large scale solar farms, data centers and even in everyday residential and commercial buildings. Before we leave, I have a quick question for you. Which type of conductor have you used? I would love to hear your experiences and thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about lightning protection, grounding systems and other electrical engineering topics. 